king status. He's like, I'm going to fleece these Republican geezers so hard. A little boy, a little guy we haven't talked about for a little while. His name, Santos, George Santos, such an incredible creature. George Santos is from doing things along the lines of lying about having a company and lying about owning businesses and lying about how much money he has and lying about what his name is and lying about where he came from and lying about even his own family, the status of whether his mom is alive or not and whether his grandparents survived you know, that time in, night in the 1940s. He is just an incredible person. If you want to see everything that George Santos did and lied about, his whole backstory, we covered it in a video that I know none of you watched. So watch it. it. Should be up here. Thank you, editors. I appreciate you for that. But now I want to talk about something. But that was his past, okay? He couldn't run from his past. And it seems because he was trying to run from it, he ran right into something terrible which was his future. Because as all of us were thinking, like this guy may go to jail with how bad he is when it comes to lying and where he puts his money, it seems like no longer do we have to guess whether or not he's going to jail because he did. George, Congressman George Santos charged with fraud, money laundering, theft of public funds, and false statements. That's a lot. That's a lot of crimes. <laughs> That's a lot of crimes. And that's not even all of the counts in, in which he's been uh he's been booked for. Yeah, these are wild, these are wild charges. Slay. Incredible. So many charges, right? 13 to be exact. A 13 count indictment against the man has uh has leaked, sorry, that has dropped yesterday. And I have to tell you that it is remarkable. It is genuinely remarkable stuff. Lucky number 13, yep. Uh, he embezzled funds. He embezzled literal unironic money, which is remarkable. Like we all knew that he was a fraud to begin with, with, with how he described himself when he was running. But I didn't know he was so much of a fraud that he was literally defrauding the federal government. I thought he was just defrauding his like geezer Republican New York uh, Long Island voters. Apparently he's trying to deceive Uncle Sam and apparently he didn't like it very much. Santos alleged, allegedly embezzled contributions from supporters fraudulently obtained unemployment benefits and lied in disclosures to the House of Representatives. You can't, just so you know, just to tell all of you, in case you're wondering about lying to the House of Representatives, embezzling election funds, or fraudulently getting unemployment benefits, I will tell you, you can't do that. You can't do, he is a welfare queen. You are right, he is a welfare queen. <laughs> Oh no, he's getting unemployment benefits because at the same time when he said that he was like unemployed, he also was writing down that he was working at a business that didn't exist. But he was also working somewhere else while he was saying that he was working somewhere that didn't exist while he was also saying that he was unemployed. <laughs> he just thought that the he just thought that the IRS wasn't going to cross reference the shit that he's been putting on documents. <laughs> Uh, just so you know, he hasn't even been office in office for a full two years yet. He hasn't even been in office for a full two years yet. He's still in his first two year term. He's been charged and arrested on his first number one two year term. <laughs> All right. 13 count indictment was unsealed today in the U United States District Court in eastern New York. Oh, he's oh, it's over. Eastern New York is the. That's where that's where people that's where white collar criminals go to die. That's not good. It's really over. It's like it's never been more over than it is right now. If you're getting uh, your story picked apart in the <laughs> in the Eastern District, Northern District's pretty bad, too, honestly. But as far as I remember, not like the Eastern, the seven uh, count. Sorry, the seven counts were up for wire fraud. Three counts were for money laundering. One count was for theft of public funds and two counts were for making materially, materially false claims to the House of Representatives. The indictment was returned yesterday by a grand jury and he was arrested. That's inc that is remarkable, bro. Like it is is actually never been more over than it is right now. Lots of work to get unemployment and we are fairly blue. So how did uh, he get unemployment like that easily? Um, 
Well, he didn't get that. Well, he didn't get it that easily because he's he's being charged for federal crime. <laughs> um, he did. He didn't get away with it. Actually, he may have been able to get it, but he was lying about it. It seems uh, it, it, he, he may have. Oh, holy shit. Is that what he did? Because I remember that he was saying that he was working at a business that went defunct years ago. And then he also said that he was working for an NGO that helps stray dogs find homes that didn't exist. And so what happened, I think, is that he made up these companies, forged the documents, said he was unemployed, and then was able to collect the checks. That's such a money lie. I mean, it, that's probably what happened. So I'm going to guess. I don't know what the unemployment benefits are like in New York or Florida because he was in both states. But but yeah. And his actions led to a homeless man's dog dying. Yeah, he stole funds from he stole funds from a GoFundMe that was made for a homeless man's dying dog to get vet treatment. And since he and since the 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 homeless man didn't get the funds that Santo stole, the dog died because they weren't able to get treatment. So. So if you think so, yes, he is that cartoonishly evil of a human being. He stole the he stole funds from a dying dog. Lock this man up, lock him up, throw away the key, take him away. Officers, take him away. Oh, man. At the height of the pandemic in 2020, George Santos allegedly applied to receive unemployment benefits while he was employed and running for Congress. <laughs> oh, man, it's so over. As charged in the indictment, the defendant alleged behavior continued during his second run for Congress when he was uh, when he pocketed campaign contributions and used the money to pay down personal debts and to buy designer clothing. He what, he's king, king status, king status. He's like, I'm going to fleece these Republican geezers so hard. That's crazy. Your country is a joke. No, it's not. It's literally one guy, one guy. It's one guy. Nobody else has ever embezzled funds or misused campaign contributions in the history of the United States. <laughs> this indictment is the result of a lengthy collaboration between law enforcement agencies. Yeah, it's over. What have the feds got? They got like a 96% conviction rate. Is that true? He's not beating these. Oh, no, no. Like they were able to figure out that he's been lying about this stuff for the last like couple of years. Oh, he's not getting away from any of this stuff. We all know that it's true. We all, we all know that this is true. So, yeah. Wait, I want to I want to hear some like readings from some of the stuff that he pulled, because I know this is like sloppy as hell for him to be caught this quickly. At the beginning of 2022, um, September, during his successful campaign for Congress, Santos operated an LLC, Company One, through which he allegedly defrauded <laughs> prospective political supporters. Santos enlisted a Queens based political consultant, Person One, to communicate with prospective donors on Santos's behalf. Santos allegedly directed person one to falsely tell donors that, among other things, that the money would be used to help elect him to the house, including by purchasing television advertisements in reliance on these false statements to donors, contributor one and two, thing one and thing two, each transferred 25K to company one's bank account, which Santos controlled. As a, as alleged in the indictment, shortly after the funds were received by Company One's bank account, the money was transferred into Santos's personal bank account. In one instance, laundered through two Santos personal accounts, Santos allegedly then used as much money, um, used much of that money on personal expenses, among other things. He allegedly used the funds to make personal purchases, including designer clothes withdraw cash, discharge personal debts, and to transfer money to his friends. Oh, how, dude, how fucking, how, how dumb do you have to be? It's just like, oh, I got my fraud money. And then instantly, I'll be taking that. Just put it directly in. No, like trying to transfer it. No trying to like launder it or anything. Just like, yep, thanks for Thanks for believing my lies. Time to time to commit federal crimes. 
Uh, B gay. Listen, this is what you all asked for. It is true. You did say that you supported gay rights and gay wrongs. You did say, you did say that you do love it when, when you are gay and you do crimes. So what, what happened now? Aren't you supposed to be supporting it? What happened now? He is gay. He's doing crimes. It's everything we've ever wanted. And he's defrauding the federal government. And he's defrauding rich Republicans. I mean, what more could you ask for? Honestly. Unemployment insurance scheme. Tentos was employed uh, uh, as a regional director for a Florida-based investment firm, Firm One, where he earned about 120K. In 2022, in response to the outbreak of, of, co of COVID-19, new legislation was signed to assist with out of, uh, was assist out of work Americans. In June 2020, although he was employed, and was not eligible for unemployment benefits, Santos applied for government assistance through the New York State Department of Labor, allegedly claiming falsely to have been unemployed since March of 2020. From that point until April 2021, he was, he was collecting money for like a year? When Santos was working and receiving a salary on a near continuous basis during his un unsuccessful run for Congress, he falsely affirmed each check, sorry, he falsely affirmed each week that he was eligible for unemployment benefits when he was not. As a result, Santos allegedly fraudulently received more than $24,000 in unemployment benefits. <laughs> this is shameless. You're right. You're right. You're right. This is shameless. He just, I don't know if he just didn't think that he was going to get caught or just wanted to use the money until it was, until the ride was over. Maybe he wanted to go on a TK style chase with the cops. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know anymore. No shame. I didn't know. I'm just a, I'm just a silly little Brazilian boy. I had no clue. <laughs> yeah, it's it's over. It is really over. It, it's it's quite a bit over over. George Anthony Devalder Santos. Oof. Age thirty four. Oof. Ow and ouch. He received between one million and one dollar and five million dollars in dividends from the Devolver, sorry, Devolver, <laughs> Devolder Organization LOC. He had earned seven hundred fifty thousand dollars from Devolder LOC, a Florida based entity which Santos was the sole beneficiary owner. Oh, oh, he said that this was owned by his family. He said that he said that he was just working there. He didn't say he owned the company. He was he's the sole beneficial owner. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, it's so over. <laughs> he had a saving account with a deposit between one million and five million dollars, bro. In connection with the second campaign for election, he filed another house disclosure in which he alleged uh, allegedly overstated his income and assets. He falsely certified during the reporting period that all of these things are real. As alleged in the indictment, these assertions were false. Wait, why are you lying? Why are you lying to the house? Why does this matter? Why you didn't even? <laughs> oh, wait, these are public, aren't they? Oh, fuck. Santos had not received from the Devolder organization the reported amounts of salary or dividends and did not maintain a checking or savings account deposits in the reported amounts. Holy fuck. Oh yeah, I remember. No, holy crap. He's so embarrassing. You know why he did this? I can't find the clip at the moment. Rewatch the video that we did on, on him before. But he did this because he, he didn't want to be seen as a commoner. I'm not I'm not joking when asked about when all of this first originally came to the surface and he was getting blown out by news organizations. He went on to TV and he was asked why he made all made up all of these things. And he said specifically that he didn't. He said that he was really rich and he said he had all these companies and he said he worked this and that and had all this money because he didn't want to be seen as poor when the Washington Post or the New York Times made articles about him. If they say anything about him, he j he didn't want it to be that he was poor or come off as poor as like an average person because like he it would ruin his image because, uh oh, because wealth is just so crazy in, in America. So he had to lie. He had to lie. So he actually already admitted to lying about this. 
which is really remarkable. Further, Santos uh, allegedly failed to disclose that in 2021, he received $28,000 in income from investment firms one and more than 20K in unemployment insurance uh, from, from New York. The, the charges and indictment are merely allegations. Yep. <laughs> yep, they sure. Yeah, I bet. I really bet there are. But if you think that's all the Santos memes that we got, oh, oh buddy. I got something to tell you. This is how my man looked walking out of the courthouse. <laughs> Oop, let me just, uh, uh, whoopsie. Got a little bit of fraud. Oops. <laughs> tee -hee. Just do a little tee -hee fraud. Tee -hee. <laughs> New meme format. It could be. It has high potential. Swish as well. Okay. This is unreal. <laughs> it's real. I promise you, this is a that's what that's what everybody these are all reporters. They're all they're all on him because he's he's walking out of the courtroom after he got arrested. Mind you. Yeah, he's catwalking. He's catwalking serving out of the courtroom after being told that he's going to be indicted for 13 counts of fraud and embezzlement. <laughs> Oh man, it's so good. Oh, me on my way to do government fraud number what <laughs> what to do. Uh, what do you think of my blazer? I uh, also somebody said you you call it fraudy, I call it fruity. Also, somebody said that he wears every time he they see him, he wear he's wearing the same outfit like he's a cartoon character. And I have to say, true. True and real. He's always he's always wearing khakis with a blazer with like a, a sweater and a button down. It's the same thing every time. He bought what my the saddest thing is that he literally defrauded the government to buy luxury clothes and he still has no drip. He still has no drip. He still has he still he still has 90s fairy tale. He's he still has like mid 2000s boys school <laughs> boys private school drip. He's got that Catholic school drip, you know, he, he's got that. He's got that junior in high school who comes to school in the suit drip. And it's just not it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. It's true. It's true. It, it really is true. 2010 Pinterest drip. Gay villain from a high school musical. <laughs> not the gay villain from a high school musical. No. <laughs> No, you can't. This can't be possible. This can't be happening. But you know what is happening? What he said after he walked up to the mics. Holy crap. Look at it. This is the most attention that my boy has ever gotten in his life. We all have questions. I know that everybody's been waiting for the moment for me to come out and talk to you guys. Look, this is the beginning of the guys, ability for me to address and defend myself. We have an indictment. We have all we have the information that the government wants to come after me upon and I'm going to comply. I've been complying throughout this entire process. I have no desire not to comply at this point. They've been gracious in there. Now I'm going to have to go and fight to the nine nine family members receiving money from foreign from foreign destinations into their bank accounts. It's been years of exposing. A lot of you here have reported on them, and yet no investigation is launched into them. Man, that's crazy. Look at that. Never, never come after New Yorkers, bro. Look at this sign. Devolder defrauds devoters. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. That goes crazy. Who thought of that? Somebody give them a raise. Devol Devolder, that's his name. Defrauds Devoters. <laughs> it's a witch hunt. It's a witch hunt. So this is where he pivots into talking about Biden. Okay. That's what he's talking about now. Biden. He's he's saying that the Biden admin, and by Biden admin, I don't mean Joe Biden. I mean Hunter Biden. He's now deflecting from him stealing money from voters and lying about everything. Davinci, there you go. To guys, have you heard about have you heard about Hunter Biden? He's crazy. If Hunter Biden was elected into office, he'd be a criminal, unlike me. He's done the craziest thing about it, guys. The craziest thing about this is that 
even in the worst possible situation and understanding of the Hunter Biden situation, it's actually still less bad than what George Santos did. Because in the Hunter Biden situation, it was supposed to be that Biden, that Hunter Biden used his use his power and influence by being connected to Joe Biden to get sweet deals with companies in Ukraine and in China to be able to make money. And then he gave some of that money to Joe Biden. That's the worst that, that that's that. And, and then like Joe Biden was working behind the scenes to get him to do it, to get more money out of it without having his name on it. That's the worst thing that the that the right has said that Joe Biden has done. This guy is literally stealing money out of the mouths of poor people and unemployed people. He is literally he has literally killed somebody's dog. And is also like using his position to like shit on minorities. I mean, like, what more can you what 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 more can you add? The guy literally lied about his family dying in the Holocaust. Like, what more? <laughs> what more can you you what more can you say, really? He's crazy. This dude's insane. He's insane. I'm gonna fight you, not I, well, and I'm just going I'm getting back to that. I'm gonna fight my battle, I'm gonna deliver, I'm gonna fight the witch hunt, I'm gonna take care of clearing my name and I look forward to doing that. What a huge L. Corporate audio. Corporate audio. Those sunglasses are tremendous. Do you think he bought these sun do you think he bought these sunglasses with a... Uh, Oh shit, are those, holy shit, are those Ray-Bans? <laughs> Wait a second, are those Ray-Bans? Wait a second. Wait a second, did he buy those with like campaign funds that he was supposed to use on his election? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, I gotta, I gotta get an, un, I gotta get an enhancement on this. There were like, there are photographers out there. Somebody took a picture of this guy's head. Somebody knows what, somebody knows, somebody's taking a picture of the, the side of the holy shit, those are Ray Bans. Wait, they are. Wait, the wait, look, that's the Ray Bans logo. Actually, unironically. Yo! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's so, it's never been more over. Oh, it's so over. Wait, where's that close up picture? Y you see it? You see it? There's the Ray Bans logo. That's it. No, where is it? There it is. Those are Ray-Bans. These are, these are like possibly three to $400 glasses. And he has multiple Ray-Bans. Since the last, the shades he was wearing were Ray-Bans and these gla normal glasses he wears are also Ray-Bans. Bro is, has spent at least minimum like $1,000 on glasses, possibly. And I, and I think I know where he got that money from. I think I because this is from his like first uh, year in office before he got paid. Oh, he was hiding in plain sight this entire time. He was hiding in plain sight this whole time. Holy crap! He really does wear the same thing every single day, doesn't he? Look, it's the same. It's the same exact fit every time. It's the it's the it's the sweater. It, it's it's the it's the sweater above the button down. That is that is wild. He's such a nerd. You know what he looks like? He looks like Neville from iCarly grown up. I get it. I see it now. It's all it's it's all become clear. True. <laughs> he acts like it too. Human dumpling. L. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, the, those are definitely Ray-Bans. I see like the little the little mark on the side. Ray-Bans is the only like glass is one of the only big glasses company that does that. It's hilarious. Have that they don't have. I it's extensive. I, I have plenty of evidence that we will now be sharing with the government in this case to make sure that I can defend my Are you planning on running for re-election? Yes, I am. Do you and of course. Does anybody believe you can? Well, can you do that from jail? I will prove myself innocent and then we'll move from there. And re-election is a very Good. hard time away from here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for blocking the $750,000. They said that you reported that wrongly. Do you have any comments on that? Well, like I said, I will be giving them all or be delivering all the finances of my company or delivering all my finances to them to dispel uh, their, their accusations. My company. And, and again, you will not resign. I will not resign. Congressman, did you do campaign donations and use that money to buy expensive suits? No, I did not. Leadership, I have. That's a bad journalist. She should have said, did you buy clothes?
Did you buy clothes? And then he'll be like, mm, I can't talk about that. <laughs> did you buy did you buy expensive clothes, luxury accessories, anything of the sort? No, no, I did not. I, I did. Do you buy a suit? No, a suit? Me? No. T <laughs> I didn't buy I didn't buy no suit. Watch him watch him say that he bought because he doesn't wear full suits, really. Watch him say, like, I actually bought a blazer and technically it's not a suit since it's just the top. <laughs> Dude, the, the right the Republicans are churning through these uh, freshman congressmen, aren't they? They are churning through these freshman congressmen. That is wild to me. That is that is crazy to me because, like, remember Cawthorn? Remember Cawthorn? Get elected to the House at 25. Turn up at the am- airport with a loaded gun. Claim that everybody in the Republican Party does coke-fueled gay orgies. Refuse to elaborate. Leave. <laughs> oh, and now he's gone. He was a legend for that. He really, he really unironically was a legend for that. I will say. L on the part of being a horrible human being, but, you know, W for this. W for this. I, I, do, I do appreciate him for that. He did look like maybe he's back to doing this now. He's having the time of his life. We can only imagine. We can only hope, right? We can only hope. Gay court coke orgies, hmm? You think hold whoa wait! You think that's why uh actually never mind. Appreciate everybody's patience with with my presence in Congress as you know the media has its its you know ways of doing things and Bro, nobody I, likes I respect them. you guys. I've maintained good rapport with a lot of you guys. I've spoken with a lot of you guys and I have the intention to continuing that open door. Some of you who are from the Hill know how to find me. Some of you here from the district don't have a hard time finding me. It's, it's about... You don't have a hard time finding me? <laughs> Were they showing up outside of your house? Oh, man. We have rapport. We have, we have rapport. We have rapport. I will not resign. I will not resign. Girl, we know it's the best check you've ever got. <laughs> Oh no, wait, it's true. Wait, it's true. Oh no. Wait a second, he's right. He's right. The 178k from being a house member is the best check that he's ever gotten. He's like, I'm not giving out this shit for nothing. <laughs> he's like, they're gonna have to pry this seat from me. He's gonna they're gonna have to pry this seat from my cold dead hands. <laughs> I am not I am not leaving. Maybe maybe he's hoping that it is possible. He's hoping that he can slow walk the investigation or he can slow walk the like discovery portion of the trial and then slow walk everything until his like until he can get his next 170k check and then he'll be fine going to jail cuz then he can sit on the money that he had or hope at least. He'll hope to. That's what I think. <gasps> Holy shit, he's a... Wait a second, he wants to stay in office so he can do it again. Wait, he wants to stay in office so he can do it again so he can be like, I'm running for re-election. Help me stop the... Help me stop the woke, cringe media trying to take me down and besmirch my good name. <laughs> As he collects more funds, you donate... The Republicans donate to him, and then he just puts it into his checking account and then disappears. I see it. I see it. He's doing it again. He wants to do it again. I know it. I know this. I know this. But he went on to go and he went on to go and say that he's pleading not guilty. He is going to fight it, or at least for now, he's saying that he's going to fight it. I don't think that his typical lies that he gave to the con- to Congress works with the um federal government. I don't think the feds usually look the other way that much but i mean you know i guess i i guess he can try (laughs) i guess he can try thank you santos the saddest thing about it is that um santos was uh the homophobia in this country has gotten so bad that santos has been arrested for being gay he's been charged with being gay what country has it come to What, what what have we come to as a country where this is what we uh have to deal with now it's just sad. It really is. First, it's curious. First ever openly gay congressman. One of the first times a congressman, a sitting congressman has been arrested for embezzling funds. Nancy Pelosi is a multimillionaire. See what I'm saying? Curious, is it not? Curious, is it not? 
Santos lied about being rich. Pelosi actually is. And why? That's a good question, is it not? Kelly, Kelly Loeffler. Was Kelly Loeffler arrested while, while sitting? I don't think that's what it was. I think she was accused. Or maybe her family was. I don't think... I, 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 I don't know. I don't think she was arrested. Our boy here is the first dude to get arrested, I think, while sitting. As far as I can remember. Ray-Bans aren't cheap. Get the bag. I have one pair of Ray-Bans. Those gold glasses that I have, the gold circular ones, those are Ray-Bans. They're not super expensive. They're on the lower rung of expensive Ray-Bans, but... But yeah, I knew, I knew it when I see it. I've had two pairs of Ray-Bans in my entire life. And I, I knew them when I saw them. I'm like, those things are Ray-Bans. You definitely paid, like, some good money for that shit. <laughs> oh, no. Americans get arrested while sitting and not standing. Yeah. The cops literally can't take you away if you're sitting down. They literally can't. It's not possible. Wasn't the congressman in the 80s charged with a crime? And he shot himself live in live TV? Yeah, but he wasn't arrested. Like I said, arrested. It's different. But all right. Thank you, Fuentes. Let's see how it let's see how it goes. Oh, dude, wait. Oh, one of my favorite one one of my one of my favorite Santos clips. I was a Wall Street superstar. I was this, my family were this, and it was all untrue. So I don't categorize these as mistakes. I think that part of your process, of the cathartic process of redemption, if you like, it's got to start from, He's so I've been a terrible liar. I mean, would you be prepared to say that? Sure. Well, like I well, said, well, well, I've been a terrible liar on, okay. the, on those subjects. And, and what, what I try to convey to the American people is I made mistakes of allowing the pressures of what I thought needed to be done in order to this this wasn't about tricking anybody this wasn't about <laughs> oh listen when I told people that they should give me money and I'll use it on you know running for congress and I don't it wasn't about tricking anybody when I literally lied to the federal government I gotta tell you it wasn't about tricking them I just wanted to see if they were on their game Oh, this, it's, it's, yes, he was. no, 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 let, let me finish. No, no, it about tricking people. Let, let me finish. Come it on. wasn't about tricking the people. This was about getting accepted by the party here local. Just a huge L. Just a remarkable, a remarkably stupid human being. It's just remarkable. I will say, I, I just don't know what more to say about this guy. It's just, it's just so blatant and in your face. And arrogant. He's just the worst guy. <laughs> He's the, he is just the worst guy. I don't. I mean, like killing a, a homeless man's dog is that's pretty hard to top, honestly. But yeah, I mean, to his life partner. Welcome, well, welcome to the pile, brother. I hope you like it. You hope you keep your stay. I hope you like your stay. Why old stuff? Come here. Come here. Oh. Hi. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.